Hello, this is Kevin Dye with Dye Painting. Uh, we like to do our bids with a video camera. Um, we found it far more uh, conducive to just the communication aspect between everybody and it helps uh, let us do, you know, articulate scope of work far easier than just trying to explain stuff. Granted, it's a little wet today. We had our little rainstorm this morning, but um, it's just kind of like our own little thing that we do with cameras. Um, we do high-end paint work and we try to do the best prep we possibly can. So prep to us is obviously key on every level. So uh, basically I'll just kind of start with what we do. First day we would be pulling the dirt away from the wall on the stem wall around the house so that we could clean it properly and paint. I don't like to see paint on the wall, or I'm sorry, I don't like to see paint on the ground. So that we tend to kind of get in and, and do that to make sure that we have a really nice even, um, you know, an even paint line. So at the end of the day, when we're done painting, we can push it all back and it has even, you have no paint on the ground, so forth. So uh, this guy right here, this will probably have to be stained uh, by hand. We can definitely clean it out and we can make it look pretty good. We got to get rid of the mold. Um, we do a lot of these, so it's not that big of a deal. This house is definitely in need of just a little bit of love but it is a great property and it's cool because I don't get to see a lot of stuff like this anymore. Everybody's building these differently uh, these days. So uh, again, cleaning of all flaking paint is paramount in what we do. Very important. And then all bare wood, unlike your neighbors that I've already seen, all the bare wood is, um, is covered with primer because the job next door was done a year ago and it's already flaking. We have a two year unlimited warranty and I really prefer not to use it. So we do it right the first time. So all bare wood is primed, period. All mold removed with a bleach. Um, and then we caulk in what we do. It might seem excessive to some, but we caulk in every bat board. We do it the old style, the way it should be done, and that repels water and gives you the longevity that you're looking for. Um, all the black dot mold would be removed with a bleach. All lights are taken off the building prior to us painting. And then the caulking basically entails, like I said, everything. We are a prep based company. This is what we do. So everything is caulked in, everything. All woodwork like this would be bleached really good to try to bring the wood out. When I say bleached, we use a special kind of bleach and we dilute it with water uh, by one to three so that we don't burn the wood. Uh, we, we do a lot of these, so it's definitely something that we're used to. Um, again, back here, I'll kind of let you know when we pull this dirt back and we trench, um, very important that we get an even edge here. Even stuff like this, caulked. Um, out of probably everybody that you're getting bids from in Arnold, we are definitely probably the prep based company so if you're looking for something that's just really fast and spray and go um we're probably not your guys we, we are the guys who want to come in and we want to take care of every line make sure that everything is addressed again through here all the spot mold we can get rid of um now wood in here i think we can save it um I do feel we can save it. If you decide on a couple of these when they get too bad, we come in and we prime all the wood and just do all this one color, paint it. But I, I think we can save this stuff in here. It is some detail work to get in and cut it all by hand, but it's not that big of a deal. And we just put a plank right here and a, a huge uh, scaffolding piece made out of aluminum and we could just stand on it and it wouldn't even be that big of a deal. Um, building. Easy stuff. Uh, we did a bunch of these for Lakemont. The, we did the lodge last year and we had a bunch of these. So we kind of have a little technique of getting in and doing them and uh, making sure that we get all the prep work completed. Now this is the greatest part too because these huge windows like this with the casings is just absolutely gorgeous. It's quite an accent from the street. Um, again, all lights and knickknacks are removed prior to paint and prior to prep and pressure wash um, we could definitely come through and do these again this would be a scaffolding piece here to do it we have all of our own scaffolding that's not an extra charge um, we carry all of our own tools everything we have in our trucks we also do video bids or i'm sorry video updates every day 
So at the end of the day, we like to send a video and show you what we've done that day. Um, pretty standard stuff. Once we pressure wash and light sand some of this stuff, we'll come back in and put some primer. I like to use a eggshell on the actual walls and so forth and the trim and all that. And on doors, I like to use a semi-gloss. Um, it just seems the most conducive to us. So this deck appears to be in two different, okay, so that's the house. Um, obviously, full paint, full prime, full works. Um, anything up high we can get to. You look like you have a little bit of roof wandering there on you too, just so you know. We've had some pretty nice storms as of late. There's no gutter here, so if you're gonna replace that gutter, um, awesome. If not, let us know and we can remove this and we'll do it at no charge. I can just take it down and put it over there or dispose of it if you'd like. So this deck appears to be in two separate colors, even though it's wet. So this, we would just oil this. We use Armstrong stains, the best oil-based stains we can get our hands on. And then uh, this looks to be a semi-solid oil stain. So deck seems really walking, seems like a, in pretty good shape. I haven't seen anything, all the edges yet, but pretty solid. Um, and with a good clean pressure wash and everything. And then we clean the slats out uh, before we do any work on it. We don't want to keep all that crud in there. Um, so before we get to that, ooh, I just saw something here. So we've got some rot right there. So that could either be addressed or uh, worst case situation is we could come in once it's completely dry and we use a really heavy uh, a form of a patch that we, we squirt in there that's awesome. It just seals it all up. But it has to be dry before we do any of that work, obviously. Um, and then semi-solid on the outside of the deck. All the underneath posts are in, in disarray down there, so we'd have to prep all those guys too really good. Uh, but not a big deal. Uh, definitely in what we do on a regular basis. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful house. We could definitely turn it around. Um, so yeah, exactly. You know, sometimes when you get into situations with when the prep is not completely done, you have flaking. And this house, I believe, was done maybe a year ago, and we've already got flaking of its paint, which should not be happening. Um, pretty cut and dry stuff. None of it's hard to do. We caulk in every bit of that stuff. I know it seems excessive, but I've just found that when we do that, we look at our houses we did five years ago and they still look brand new. And uh, so for us, it's very important. Um, doors again with a semi-gloss, um, which they are now. It appears to be the same technique. And so what I'll do is I'll set up the bid with a house separate and the deck a la carte, you know, so you can kind of pick and choose. What we usually do is all the supports and everything underneath, but what we don't do is this guy. We don't usually do those unless you specifically ask. We do clean them. We pressure wash it out and clean it up, but we don't usually get in and stain that unless you want us to. We don't, I have yet to see a need for that. So that's what we do. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for the ability to, and the chance to take a look at it. And we will be in touch. I'll send this over today. Thank you. Bye.